In this movie, we'll look at how to take an assessment that's in Respondus and publish it to the Blackboard Learning System. The first step is to make sure that the correct version of the Blackboard Learning System has been selected on the Start menu. If you're not sure which version of Blackboard is being used at your institution, contact your Blackboard administrator. For this example, a Respondus file is open and the questions for the assessment have already been created. So we'll move right to the Settings menu in Respondus. Most of the assessment settings shown on these two tabs are the same ones available within Blackboard itself. By choosing your settings now, they will be included with the exam when it is published to the Blackboard course. For this exam, let's make it available to students as soon as it is published to the course. Let's force the completion of the test and require a time limit for taking the test. If your institution uses Respondus Lockdown Browser to prevent students from cheating on tests that are delivered in Blackboard, those settings can be selected here too. With the settings selected, the test is ready to be published to the Blackboard course. Before publishing a test, it's a good idea to preview the file to make sure everything is correct. When ready, close the preview window and select the Publish to Blackboard tab. The Publish Wizard guides us through the steps of publishing the test to a Blackboard course. In the first step of the wizard, you can choose to publish the test to a single course or to publish the test to multiple courses. The file can also be saved to the Blackboard pool format for manual uploading. For this example, let's publish the test to a single course. The next step is to choose the Blackboard server to which the test will be published. If the login information for your Blackboard course was entered at a previous time, you would simply click Next to continue. But if this is the first time Respondus is being used to publish a test to one of your Blackboard courses, you then need to go through a couple of extra steps. First, you would paste the URL for the login page of your Blackboard server to this box. And in the second box, you would paste the URL from a page from within one of your Blackboard courses. When you click the Extract button, the settings for your Blackboard server are then shown in this area. The next step would be to enter the username and password that you use to log into your Blackboard server. Finally, if you aren't using a shared computer, click this checkbox so that Respondus will save your server and login settings. This way, you can skip this setup step the next time you publish a test using Respondus. Click OK and the Respondus software will have all the information it needs to connect with your Blackboard courses. Now click Next to continue. Your Blackboard courses will be shown in this pull-down list. You would then select the course you want to use. Respondus allows you to create a new exam, replace an existing exam, or to create a Blackboard pool. To create a new exam, enter the name for the exam here. Respondus automatically supplies a name based on the file that is open, but you can change the name to anything you like for the exam. Notice that there are several additional options that can be selected for the exam. For example, if you want to include the exam settings that were selected earlier, you have to make sure that the box Apply Settings to Exam is checked. The exam can also be linked to a content area in Blackboard. To continue, click Next. Since in the previous step we chose to link the exam to a content area, we need to now select the content area to be used. Okay, that's the last setting for the Publish Wizard. When we click the Next button, Respondus will start the publishing process. As you can see, the test has been successfully published to the Blackboard course. Let's take a quick look at the test in Blackboard. Here's the test that was published by Respondus. Let's take a closer look at the test. Okay, everything looks good. 
We'll now return to Respondus to look at one last feature. Not only can you use Respondus to publish tests to the Blackboard system, you can also use it to print tests or answer keys. From this screen, you can print an exam, print an answer key, or print both. There are a number of print settings and options available to you. Once those have been selected, you can do a print preview, send the exam directly to a printer, or you can save the file to another format, such as Microsoft Word or rich text format. Well, that's a quick tour of the publishing features in Respondus. To learn more about these features, see the online help or the Respondus user guide.